All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, the ex-Muslim atheist, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Oh, and speaking of funny things, I, I, I just thought uh, that I should share this funny hadith with you as well. Uh, so, you know, uh, people say, you know, there's great wisdom in the Quran and the hadith and Prophet Muhammad's life was a great learning lesson for us. You know, Bill Maher once said that, I'm paraphrasing, I can't remember the exact quote. He said, uh, to make people do good things by promising pussy is the lowest of the low. It really is. But look, you know, people, there the, are the people like Buddha and there's so many other great people, um, Confucius and, you know, Aristotle. And these guys have said, you know, uh, they've spoken about people should control their anger. And th there's so much wisdom in the old, old ancient quotes. And we also try to uh, control our anger because we know that when we make decisions um, in an emotional state, they don't turn out to be the correct um, decisions after all. But imagine I tell you, hey, John, you should try to be patient. If you become patient, then you will get a million dollars. We'd be like, okay, all right. Um, but then I say, okay, try to be patient. Then you'll get a lot of pussy in the afterlife. You might think, okay, what the hell? What are, you, what are you saying, Harris? This is exactly what Muhammad actually said. He said, whoever restrains his anger when he's able to implement it, Allah will call him before all of creation on the day of resurrection and will give him his choice of any hoory that he wants. <laughs> so, so control your anger today. If you get angry, don't just, just control it. Okay, this is a virtuous thing. But okay, there's a reward for you. On the day of judgment, Allah will ask, hey, John, you over there. Come over here, buddy. Okay, he's coming. And John is like wondering, oh, man, God picked me out of the whole crowd. I wonder what's going on. You know, in 2019, this guy was abusing you. This guy was doing this and this. And then you wanted to retaliate, but you didn't. You controlled your anger. John is like, uh, yeah, yes, Allah. He's not, he's not sure whether he should say yes or not. But he would say yes now that obviously Allah knows everything. No point in lying to Allah. Allah is like, oh, okay, then. Have a look at these hoories, these women. Which one do you want? And John would be like, okay, I want that one. The leggy one. <laughs> the one with blonde hair or whatnot. Okay. <laughs> this is exactly what... Is Allah a pimp? He's a, he's a cosmic pimp, isn't he? Call me Philip, please. John is my father. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay Philip. This is a celestial brothel. That That's true. Jared... <laughs> Gerard, you will you will also get, you know, just be patient. Just control your anger and you can get the girl of your dream. Actually, where is where is introverted smile? <laughs> introverted smile who's um who's a um, um who's an incel and maybe maybe that's why he's finding Islam again. Because you know, there's so if you can't get vagina in this world, there's hope for you in the afterlife. Plenty of vaginas for you. <laughs> it's quite, I, I mean <sighs> Can anyone tell me if s such kind of promises are made in Hinduism? Like, you know, be good today and you will get lots of sex in the afterlife. Is there any other religion that does that? This is a serious hadith. Sunan Ibn Majah, one of the respected hadith books after Bukhari, well, the, the, the six books that are very respected in Sunni Islam. It's a Sahih hadith. You will get the hoori of your choice. Maybe we should all become Muslims. <laughs>